Hey everybody and welcome to this week's teaching tech tip. Now this week we're actually talking about quick keys, okay? Now quick keys are the things we use on our computer to make our life easier and quicker, okay? Now I, as you can see here, I actually have a lot of things open at once, okay? And what we're actually going to look at is how I change between screens so quickly without actually having going down here and picking what you've got and everything like that. So the first one is Alt Tab, okay? And Alt is right here, make that red. Tab is here, okay? You basically hold Alt and then tap Tab. And as I do that, you see I hold Alt and I tap Tab. Okay, you can see I get a list of everything that's open. This is the last thing that actually is in the most, the last thing that I had open comparative. So meaning the last, I'm in Paint, and then I'm here. I'm here, the first one will come to Paint, okay? Then I go to, I can actually come through and click on them, okay? And yeah, the Alt Tab is an amazing, amazing tool, okay? The next one we're actually going to come to is Control of the, um, is copying, okay? Which is basically holding control and tapping C. Okay? Control C is to copy and control V is to paste. Okay? So hold control, press C and control V. How come this is useful? If I come in here and I come to here, if I come, I go control C, I can go control V to paste it. Okay, thanks. Control C, control V. Okay? This just saves us a lot of time. So you say we're going to copy a picture from here, like I did with the keyboard. I go through and I go copy image. I go go to the last thing by holding Alt and Tab. Then I go Control V and it places it. Okay. Now Control X actually cuts it out and it makes it so I can paste it again. Okay. So I can Control X if I want to just remove this and put it somewhere else. Control X will remove it. And if I want to Control V it, I can paste it up here. Okay. This Control X. I want to place it down here, control V. So therefore we have now control C, which is copy, control V, which is paste, and control X, which is cut. Okay. <coughs> now the, the mo next most useful one is control Z. This is undo. This is if I've done something in a Word document or anything, and in most documents, I basically want to undo it. Watch control Z, control Z. I'm basically going back to what I had before, and it's going back through all the things that it, it's like pushing the back arrow here. It undoes it, and it really it's with any program. Like if I go back to paint, where I'm here, and I go here, and I'm actually painting everywhere, okay, and I did something I didn't want, I can hold Control Z, and it undoes the things I did, okay. And this again saves us so much time, okay. So we have Control C, oh, Control V, uh, Control C is copy, Control V is paste, Control X is cut, and Control Z is undo. We have other things along the way, like control P is print. Control P, if I push control P, it asks me what I want to do here and do I how do I want to print it. Okay. I have control N. Control N is great when I go to like say I'm in Word and I want to go, oh no, I want a new document. Control N is a new document. Okay. Or if I'm in Chrome, I can go control N and get a new page. Okay. And Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We've got lots more basically. Is you, if you really want to know more about shortcut keys, okay, Microsoft is fantastic for it. Now, if I go here, I, I underline it and see it says here under, right here, it says Control U for underline, Control I for italic, Control B for bold, okay, and you just hover and you can actually just work, come through and hover your mouse and I'll tell you how to do this. Okay, so if there's not a shortcut key for it, it probably won't come up. Okay, but centering should. Control E, I didn't even know that one. Okay, I really like this one. Okay, Control Shift greater than increases the size. And this actually, so you're writing stuff, you go Control Shift greater than and increase the size as you see fit. Okay, Control Z to undo it. Okay, because I don't actually want it there. Okay, so most of the time we hold Control unless we're changing something more about the computer where we have alt tab okay alt tab remember changes between screens really really quickly okay control c is copy control v is paste control x is cut you use cut a lot less but you will use undo a lot in fact i've used undo every time i've got rid of one of these circles control z to undo it Okay, you will use these ones a lot if you're very very if you have confident with them alt tab is probably the most useful thing you will have, okay?
Um, everything else, I mean, control P might save you time from going between screens, control N will get you a new screen. But frankly, as long as you're starting to master some quick keys, you're doing pretty good. Okay? Now, that is this week's teaching tech, tech tip of the week. Okay? And I hope it really is useful because, frankly, it will save you a lot of time. It saves us going all the way down here and clicking things to come in or and trying to get your, you know, and then I've got a thousand things open. But if I really want the last thing that I had open, I just hold Alt Tab and I know the last thing was Word Document 6. Okay, and this is in the order I've had them open. So you can see the stuff down the way down here. I've had them open in ages, so I should probably close them, frankly. Okay, and I hope this has been helpful because it's a useful tech tip. Thank you very much for listening.